Aloha, and welcome to Talk Story with John Wahei. I know I tell you this every time we have a show, and that is that we got another exciting guest for you today. But in reality, folks, we got a very special, special guest today. We have with us joining today Mr. Toshio Masuda. And Mr. Matsuda is known and worldwide as the Samurai Lecturer. <laughs> what he is, is that he is a author and an economist, and he uh, did a number of different things. Uh, you know, some of his personal background is even as interesting as the things he talks about. So we are going to uh, have a very interesting time this afternoon talking about geopolitics and geoeconomics, <laughs> meaning international the impact of international politics and international economics. So welcome, Matsuda-san. I, I, I we're delighted to have you. But before we get into the substance of this, mm -hmm. I, I wanted to say that uh, you and uh, Mrs. Matsuda, yeah. uh, Mariko, yeah. Who are she is in fact your partner, and she's in with, with you in all these businesses. Right? Yeah, she is uh, my lovely wife. Not only wife, but also she is my boss. <laughs> so she's your boss. She does. Yeah. Well, I, the reason why I mentioned it, folks, is because uh, Mariko and <clears throat> Matsuda-san are now the uh, cover page. You're on the cover page yeah. of Luxury Magazine International. Yeah. And the reason for doing that, what a wonderful dress she has. <laughs> and I hope my wife doesn't see that. You know, she'll want something like that herself. But anyway, the reason why they're on the copper page is because, uh, Matsuda-san, you're giving a number of lectures in Europe and Tokyo. Uh, just tell us. Uh, yeah. Okay, this uh, luxury magazine is uh, <clears throat> uh, published in Europe. Right. Uh, especially uh, Monaco and uh, Paris and uh, London, uh, especially in Moscow, in Russia. So the magazine mm -hmm. itself is mm -hmm. in English, Russian, and French? Is that uh, oh, English and uh, Russian. English and Russian. Russian. And uh, this happens because I did a uh, summary lecture uh, that was uh, May uh, 16th. Uh, in Monaco at the famous uh, yacht club. Oh. And uh, lots of people came, and uh, <clears throat> my lecture was so success successful. And then London people invited me to come to make a lecture in London, and the Moscow people called me, and Mr. Master, please come over to Moscow and make your summary lecture. Oh, and Dubai. Oh, Dubai. Yeah, Dubai people also invited me to come to Dubai and make lectures. So, magazine company focus on me. Well, we are so lucky to have you here today. I wanted to say, <laughs> though, that um, you actually very early on, in, uh, and uh, people know this, that back in 2001, that's right. I think it was sometime uh, at the end of the summer, I, I'm not exactly clear with the date, but um, we, you, uh, I wanted to, and we, a bunch of people from Hawaii, ask you to give a lecture at YLI Club. That's right. To that's the right. business community that's right, in Hawaii. That's right. That's right. And at that time, mm -hmm. uh, what I remember most is that at that time, somebody asked you a question. You kept telling me this, by the way, privately. And I said, yeah. don't talk about this and don't talk. And what we're <laughs> going to talk about, from, folks, is that Mr. Matsuda was saying that mm -hmm. within, uh, by, before the, the 12th of the following month or something. Yeah, uh, before Uni 12 September. Yeah, you mm -hmm. said that the mm -hmm. United States would be in some kind of conflict. The world right. would turn over. You weren't mm -hmm. sure what it was. But in, 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 in the audience, this is what I remember. The okay. audience, somebody asked you, they said, <laughs> Mr. Matsuda, what kind of stock should I uh, buy? And I remember you saying, I'm going to give you advice what n not to buy. Mm. And in fact, what you should sell. Right. And you said, sell airline stock. Right. And then you predicted that the world would be, uh, the United States would be in turmoil. Mm. And that was, uh, and one month later, 9-11 occurred. That's right. 
because I knew uh, the court date uh, was September 12th, uh, where they were supposed to uh, <clears throat> just for uh, nine suspects who are <clears throat> uh, sus suspected to have born <clears throat> burned down or bombed U.S. Embassy in Kenya and the Tanzania. Ah, yes, 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 you yes. Know, nine yes. suspects. Uh, they had a court day uh, <clears throat> uh, September 12th, and I knew they were innocent, so you cannot have that court day. So something must be happened before September 12th. That's, and that's, that's why you <laughs> predicted it. That's right. But you see, but Ms. Matsuda, you were already famous, <clears throat> and the reason why we even brought, well, you got invited to, to Wiley to <clears throat> give that lecture, which, by the way, yeah. there are still people thanking you for being... Or your tip to sell the airline <laughs> stock. Long time ago. <laughs> before they did it. But because actually you were uh, well known in Japan for being able to give a sense or give a prediction as to when uh, the, there was going to, the yen was going to be devalued mm -hmm. with, the, with the dollar. In fact, mm -hmm. you had written mm -hmm. a number of mm -hmm. books about the economy of Japan mm -hmm. and the world. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly. Yeah, matter of fact, I wrote uh, over uh, 30 books. Uh, that's <clears throat> about uh, economy and the politics, and most of them were bestsellers. But the most important thing is I, I, uh, I have been uh, <clears throat> advising uh, to uh, almost 700 people in Japan. They are investors uh, since 1997. <clears throat> wow. And uh, also, I have a broadcasting, radio broadcasting. Yeah, that's right. You do a radio show every day. Every day. Every day on the... Monday on... to Friday. Yes. And no matter where in the world you are. That's right. Since uh, 1997 up to today. So my uh, radio program in Japan is the longest history in Japan history. Okay. So, and that's why <laughs> you're known as the samurai <laughs> lecturer, right? You can see this. Yeah. Isn't... The reason why uh, my lecture is called Samurai is my, I am a descendant right. of a 47 Samurai or Ronins. It's a, yeah, very, it's a very famous story, story in, in Japan. Japan. Yeah. And, and what it is, it's a story about Japanese culture and Japanese sense of loyalty and all the things that make a Samurai. Yeah, and that, you are actually a descendant of one of the 47, 47 Samurai. Yeah, 47 Ronins or Samurais. And uh, <clears throat> that story, if I talk about uh, that story, it's going to take a long time, so I'm going to miss. But uh, <clears throat> the thing is, uh, 47 Rollins made uh, some kind of revenge against the uh, corrupted uh, uh, high rank officers. Right. Uh, work in the, the Edo central government. That and was, the uh, idea, again, yeah. <clears throat> is that is a story that the young people are taught about in Japan, mm -hmm. about what constitutes, I mm -hmm. guess you would say the culture, but also mm -hmm. the samurai spirit. Yeah. So, okay, we, yeah. We, we got a chance for people to get to know you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask, I'm going to throw you a curve right now. I'm okay. going to ask you a tough question. Yeah. And that is... Because you're an, you're an economist, yes. and because you, you, you know something about the international impact of different government decisions, mm -hmm. what do you think? The, the, well, the, uh, Fed, the, the, the Fed, yeah. the uh, Federal Bank uh, uh, in, the, in the United States, um, recently lowered the interest rate. Right. They gave a rate cut. Yeah. And rate I think cuts. it was in mm -hmm. July. Yeah. Right? The end of the July. Yeah. So what, what mm -hmm. do you think of that? I mean, what, what impact will that have for the rest of us and for the uh, world? That was the uh, most important uh, things uh, in the uh, world economy. Uh, lots of, almost 100% of the analysts predicted uh, for the rate cuts uh, in coming uh, July uh, <clears throat> uh, FOMC uh, sessions. Right. And uh, as everybody's, every uh, analyst uh, predicted, the Fed decided to uh, cut the rates. Now, mm. the president mm. was insisting that they mm. cut the rate. Was he just tagging along with the rest of the, the uh, other experts? Or? Uh, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Trump uh, repeatedly 
ask the uh, <clears throat> chairman of the Fed, uh, Mr. Powell, the Federal Reserve to uh, cut the rates instead of uh, raising the interest rate. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, Mr. Powell ignored the request of the Mr. President and uh, raised the cut, uh, raised uh, the interest rate four times in 2018. So Mr. Trump was so frustrated and uh, he was trying to fire him out <laughs> from the Fed, but uh, that's why he uh, <clears throat> explored how to, uh, how to uh, fire uh, <clears throat> Mr. Powell. Which would have been a very difficult thing. So anyway, right. Mr. Powell lowered the rate. Right? But it, it, and then Mr. Powell said in the end of last year, uh, 2018, I want to raise the. Uh, I want to raise the, <clears throat> the rate uh, maybe uh, two, three times for our coming year, which which means this year. So Trump was completely got mad. <laughs> fire him out! Fire him out! And then <clears throat> FOMC <clears throat> decision making committee was open uh, January. Uh, no raising the rates and the March. No raising uh, <clears throat> rates. And now, July. It cut the rate. Cut the rate. Now, what? But mm -hmm. the real question is why did the Dow crash mm -hmm. after the rate cut? Okay, normally, normally, when the Fed uh, cuts the rates, stock market should go up. Right. See, that's a, that's a common sense because uh, <clears throat> easing money and easing policy, which is good for the stock market. So, <clears throat> As everybody, every analyst uh, <clears throat> predicts, uh, the Fed uh, <clears throat> cut the rates, and uh, <clears throat> only one day, maybe 30, 40 minutes, uh, the stock market was up, went up, and then stopped. And next day, next day means the uh, August uh, 2nd. August 2nd, Mr. <clears throat> Trump, President of the United States, uh, announced uh, the additional uh, tariffs against the, <clears throat> the oh. rest, rest of the imports uh, from China, which is uh, worth about uh, 300 billion US dollars. And uh, he said he's going to start uh, <clears throat> imports, on <clears throat> imports on the imports, tariff on the imports, starting from September 1st. So market was so shocked. You know, and, so, what, so in other words, you, you got what was supposed to have been a boost to the market, yeah, yeah. and then the next day you got a... Yeah, so Trump, Trump uh, <clears throat> uh, because of Trump's announcement of the tariffs uh, against the imports from China, the so stock market crashed down. Wow. But there is, <clears throat> there is a, a truth behind this Trump's actions and Mr. Powell's actions. Number one, <clears throat> Mr. Powell uh, should not uh, cut the rate if he follows or if he uh, respects the fun fundamentals of the United States. Okay. Economic fundamentals is so good. Uh, for example, uh, most important thing for the GDP, growth of the economy in the United States, is the spending. Right. All right? and the consumer, public spending. Well, I'll tell you what, um, we're going to take a short break right yeah. now. Okay. Uh, and, but when we come back, I want mm. you to continue that thought, that okay, conversation, fine. and also tell us a little bit about what you think the world economy will look like yeah. as a result of uh, these actions if, uh, and others. So, if, you, if you know the truth of the uh, Fed, you will... Uh, you'll understand what's going to happen. Let's come back. We're going to be back shortly <laughs> in a minute, and we're going to talk about, as Mr. Masuda, the samurai lecturer, tells us about the truth of the Federal Reserve System. Aloha, I'm Melly James, host of Let's Mana Up. Tuesdays, every other Tuesday, from 11 to 11.30. This show is meant to dive into stories of local product entrepreneurs and how they're growing their companies from right here in Hawaii. I'm so thrilled to have our show kicked off, and so please join us on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock as we talk to local entrepreneurs and hear their stories. 
Aloha, I'm Keisha King, host of At The Crossroads, where we have conversations that are real and relevant. We have spoken with community leaders from right here locally in Hawaii and all around the world. Won't you join us on thinktechhawaii.com or on YouTube on the Think Tech Hawaii channel. Our conversations are real, relevant, and lots of fun. I'll see you at the crossroads. Aloha. Welcome back to Talk Story with John Waihe and our guest, the samurai lecturer, Mr. Tutsio Masuda from Japan. And by the way, folks, if you got a question and you want to join this conversation, please call us at 808-374-2014. We are always available to answer your question. So, Mr. Masuda, you were just about ready to tell us why the set of circumstances <clears throat> that occurred uh, recently with the Federal Reserve actually re resulted uh, mm -hmm. in a drop in the market instead of an expansion. And that had to do, which, uh, which, which was what you were pointing out just before the break, mm -hmm. that had to do with the Federal Reserve uh, chairman, I guess, in ignoring. American that's, economic fundamentals. Uh, yeah, that's right. The American uh, fundamental, economic fundamentals, is uh, still now, or uh, the time of the FOMC, uh, fundamental was so good. Uh, for example, most important uh, <clears throat> uh, fundamental is the uh, uh, spending. Yes. Know, the public spending. Uh, public spending uh, at the beginning of the year was not so good, 1.1 percent. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, coming to the coming near to the uh, FOMC, in other words, decision making committee, uh, it's getting better and better and better, and uh, it uh, goes up to went up to 1.1 uh, uh, to 4.3 percent, 4.3. So the spending is uh, consumer spending went up so high. And uh, another thing, the uh, important thing is the uh, uh, hourly earnings, wages. That also jump up to 3.2%. Uh, uh, so so it, the, when that happens, the logical thing is to mm -hmm. let the economy adjust yeah, itself. Yeah, economy was uh, very good. And the <clears throat> another important thing is, as you know, the um, employment. Unemployment rate is 3.7, the lowest in U.S. history. You know, so <clears throat> all the fundamentals are very, very good. So when fundamentals, economic fundamentals, is so good, Fed <clears throat> should raise the rates. So he they should, the he, chairman should have done what he was saying he would do, opposite. not what the president was telling him to do. Right. So, yeah. so if uh, the Fed follows the fundamental, economical uh, fundamentals, Fed should have <clears throat> raised the interest rate. But the fact is they uh, decided to lower the interest rate, cut the rates. And then so, right after so, that, the So president... when such kind of the thing, unreasonable things happen, there will be always <clears throat> something, politics involved. Let me, I, Mr. Matsuda, you, you're known as the Samurai Lecture because you're not afraid to touch uh, mm -hmm. controversial subjects, you yeah. know, from time to time. <laughs> but there are people that have suggested mm -hmm. that this whole relationship with China mm -hmm. and the President Trump uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, is, actually, there's more to it mm -hmm. than the, uh, people might see. Mm -hmm. What do you think... Uh, all of this is leading. Uh, yeah, so before uh, <clears throat> talking about uh, China, uh, as, I, as you told me, uh, right after the Fed cut, the cut the rate, you know, the share supposed to go up, but it but fell down. Because Mr. Trump announced uh, the more tariff, additional right. tariff against the imports. Right. Uh, from China, as I said, uh, you know, 300 billion worth of the imports. 
That is the reason why market crashed. But <clears throat> there is another fact of okay. this reason. Because <clears throat> the Fed uh, chairman, uh, Mr. Powell, Mr. Powell <clears throat> he cut the rate. You know, he was not supposed to cut the rate because look at the fundamentals. Right. There is, right. You know, <clears throat> economic environment is very good and the U.S. economy is going so good. So Fed was not supposed to cut the rate, but he did. Okay. And then right after uh, Fed uh, decided to cut the rates, uh, in analysts, including me, analysts started to argue yes. if, if Fed decision was right or wrong. So oh. there, there was a discussion, arguments happened. And then Trump, all of a sudden, Trump announced, <clears throat> put the tariff against the uh, Chinese import. So all of a sudden, stock market go down. And then because of the announcement, because of the tariff against the China, Chinese imports, they are talking about the recessions, future recessions. And the Powell said, <clears throat> even though U.S. economy is so good, fundamental is so good, but there is a, the fear of recession in future. That, is, that was his reason why he cut the rate. But oh. that, at that moment, there was no single sign of a recession at all, zero. So it, so, it had to do with the tariff So cut? Trump covered it up. Oh, got it. See, this is the real political reasons. And what's happened is, because of the, because of the rate cuts, share price was supposed to go up, but <clears throat> there was a lot of argument. Fed may, maybe Fed did wrong things, because look. Well, well you know, one <clears throat> thing about China is China, mm -hmm. if we're, you know, switching to that subject, mm -hmm. China holds a lot of U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. bonds. Yeah, and what is the or what is your feeling about the relationship between mm -hmm. uh, Chinese, the value of Chinese yuan, mm -hmm. and the dollar? Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that part of all this scenario as well? Uh, recently, as you know, uh, <clears throat> Tr Mr. Trump. <clears throat> I know it, by the way, mm -hmm. and I don't know if the audience knows, and maybe I'm just spilling uh, something I shouldn't, but I know mm -hmm. that you actually advise the Chinese government from yeah, time to Yeah, I time. met the uh, chairman of the uh, currency committee of Bank of China, uh, February 17th, and I gave them uh, one very, several advice, but one of the most important advice I gave, uh, gave to him, and uh, cover up what uh, Mr. Trump <laughs> was <laughs> challenged against you, uh, in other words, China, against China. So he understood, but I don't know if he uh, <clears throat> uh, followed me or uh, I don't know. But if he followed me, if he had followed me, uh, Mr. Trump <clears throat> could not have uh, <clears throat> announced uh, that uh, China is uh, currency manipulators. Ah, Recently, yeah. you know, recognition, you know, <clears throat> Uh, Trump uh, declared that China is uh, uh, man uh, currency manipulators. But I, I suggested them to keep it one to seven. In other words, one US dollar to seven UN. All right? They th they, didn't they China the, just yeah, recently the, do something yeah, like that? They came back and they now keep uh, one to seven. But it's too late. I told them, keep one to seven all the, all the way. You know, no matter what uh, market, uh, you know, moved, you buy or sell, buy or sell, you keep one to seven. Okay. Then, we, 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 we are going to, we're getting yeah. close, but I wanted to ask you one, so what is your predictions for the economy, the world economy? Okay, world well, economy, uh, as I don't have enough time, but uh, I, I got to give you a conclusion. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's uh, what I mean. World economy is going to be bubbled up, bubbled up. Okay. Everybody talking about a recession and uh, lots of negative uh, you're gonna, you're, you're negative predicting the other thing, things. There is no negative matters. The stock market, anyway, from now on goes up. And uh, developing uh, nations, countries, economies uh, grew up because Fed started to cut the rate. That is a very, very good uh, news to uh, developing nations. 
Uh, because uh, they had to uh, raise the interest rate because the Fed raised the interest rates and all the money is called the uh, capital flight. All the money go out, to America, out from the yeah. developing countries and so they had to protect their currency. They, they had to raise the interest rate. That's bad for the economy. But now, opposite. So they started to uh, cut the rate and uh, release more money. So the developing countries' the economies goes up. And the United States, United States economies, as I told you, fundamental, too good. And while you are too good, you are, <clears throat> you know, cutting the rates. Right, right. So good going to be too good. Okay, I, you know, I, we got a couple more minutes, and I know you never shy away from controversy. So let me ask you a question. I remember yeah. back in 2016, at one point in time, yeah. you said the United States doesn't need an election. This was before yeah. the election. Yeah. You don't need the election. Trump is going to get elected anyway. Right. I didn't think so. I obviously, <laughs> I, I was on the opposite yeah. side. But why did you think so? Oh, it's very easy. Uh, in order to win any election, not only presidency or a <clears throat> congressman, whatever. In order to win election, you have to have three things. One, money. Second, yes. brain. Third, <laughs> stock price, oh, share price. Okay. All right, money, Sheldon Anderson, uh, the richest guy in the world, supported Trump. Brain, Kissinger, supported Trump. And stock market goes up, so he won. Well, you know, I, yeah, well, that, uh, you, know, you know, that makes a lot of sense. And as I said, you don't, uh, you know, you and I didn't agree on that election. But I, I want to thank you for being here today yeah, yeah. and for being willing to answer these questions. And folks, by the way, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Masuda's uh, lectures are on uh well, they're in Japanese mostly, but uh, you speak, uh, you do it in uh, English as well. Yeah, I'm uh, <clears throat> uh, very bad English, but uh, you understand what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank everyone for joining us today, and we definitely want to thank Mr. Mansura, the Samurai Lecturer, for being willing to spend time with us and letting us know a little bit about what's going to happen with the world economy. And mm. according to him, mm. things may be getting better in the future economically. Yeah. Mm.